Hi everybody, Annette Pegler with Local 24 News. I am here outside of Bosco's where dozens of people pack this place to honor Lieutenant Robert Bob Bedford. He was there on D-Day offering his services 75 years ago. The people who know and admire Lieutenant Robert Bob Bedford say there aren't enough words to appropriately thank him for his service on D-Day, the invasion of Normandy. This is a, a lot better uh, welcoming than he got 75 years ago on the beaches of Normandy for Bob right. Bedford. You gotta imagine that the weather was pretty much like this. Quarter million men came across the English Channel uh, to protect our freedom or to take it back. Bedford was stationed at Utah Beach. He worked on a U.S. Navy amphibious ship and was responsible for helping the wounded on and off that ship. He said at one point he hadn't slept for 72 hours. Although the memories are painful, Bedford has always kept a sense of humor. The cabin was above water or something like that. And I had the captain's cabin. <laughs> He says sometimes he has restless nights thinking about what happened. He was sleeping on an air mattress and for some reason he got up and walked away for a minute. He came back and the air mattress was empty of air and shrapnel had hit it. And if he'd have been lying on that at that time, he would have been hit by shrapnel. And he says this is just an instance where God has had, uh, you know, changed Life. I couldn't sleep last night. Thinking about it? <laughs> I'm thinking about the invasion and what have you. But today was about love and the appreciation shown to Lieutenant Beckford for the service he made to our country. Love you. Thank you very much. Yes. We love you. Yes. Reporting in Midtown, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.